Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Connor from Out of Work Outdoors. Uh, today we're going to discuss a little topic that we were handed uh, by some of the local guys here. Uh, local to Oklahoma. Uh, he's never caught a striper before. He wants to catch a striper. So he needs some advice and some place to go. So in Oklahoma, there's 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 a f you can narrow it down pretty quick. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to give you exact places, but you know there's a there's a couple of good spots. And like I said, part of fishing is the adventure there. It's not really 100% just catching the fish, right? It's the adventure of finding these places and, you know, the adventure. It's the, the path there, okay? So I want you to experience the path that we experienced when we started this journey as well. So anyways, uh, before we get to that, uh, this is you know, Out of Work Outdoors. This is a... Uh, one of those video series that I think can just go on forever. The more questions you guys give us, the more of these videos we give out. A lot of good information here. And, uh, we're going to be talking about, you know, whatever you guys want to talk about. So, uh, before we get into that, well, we got hats. Hats are $35 a piece. If you guys want to support the channel, you know, $35 to contact us. And, uh, 35 shipped. So, we'll ship it out to you wherever you are. Uh, lower 48 states, of course. But, yeah, striper fishing in October, uh, you can really keep it simple. There's not a lot of crazy things that can happen. Uh, your standard fishing rods are going to do just fine. Uh, some, if, you, if you don't have one, you need a recommendation, here you go. If you just need, like, a 7-foot rod. Keep it simple. Spinning rod. A 3,000 or a 30 size is what most manufacturers will call it. Uh, spinning reel. You will need, if you're completely new to it, I would probably say 20 pound line. 20 pound line. 20 pound braided line. Okay, not just regular line, but braided line. Um, if you want to cast really, really far, or if you need to cast really far, 10 pound braided line. On top of that, you'll be fine. And in terms of lures, uh, there's a couple of, uh, you know, Bass Pros, Academies, Nap Attack, you know, Mom Pop Shops that carry these lures. They're simply just called head and spooks head and spooks okay and you want to get two sizes you want to get the little one which is a it's called a zero spook the, the, the zero puppy you want to get the puppy and you want to get the chrome chrome or white doesn't matter uh and you want to get the next size up the next size up i believe is called the zero spook Junior, I think it's called. The, there's a there's a puppy, the junior, and the zero spook. So you pick between the, the junior and the spook, like the regular size spook. Either one's gonna do just fine. And once again, you know, a bone color, chrome color, keeping it simple. All right, and we're gonna just rig this thing up, and we're just gonna go fishing, right? In the, our in, in our neck of the woods, Oklahoma, there's really like five bodies of waters that maybe even less than that that have striped bass. Uh, true striped bass. I'm not talking the hybrid. I'm talking the striped bass. So, anywhere along the Arkansas River, any lake the Arkansas River touches, flows into, will have striped bass. Okay, so, Arkansas River itself is really good too. So, don't get me wrong. All the dams that create or flow into the Arkansas River, definitely stripers. Okay, no question about it. We've been to most of them. They have them. The lakes, the lakes themselves, we have Keystone has stripers. We have the uh, Eufaula should have stripers. I'm pretty sure it has stripers. No, not Eufaula. Robert S. Kerr has stripers. Robert S. Kerr has stripers. Texoma has stripers. And as far as I know, those are the only three. Those are the only three that I know of. Uh, other than that, it's all river fishing. The Red River has stripers. Uh, Arkansas River has stripers. Vertigris has them. Very rare, of course, but they, they do have them. Uh, but yeah, those are the places. Okay, so that's pretty simple, right? Jump on Google Maps, do some research, okay? If you don't know where these places are at. But definitely Texoma. Texoma is infested with strippers. If you're near to Texoma, or if you just need a weekend getaway, uh, definitely go to Texoma. Definitely Texoma. Uh, there's the dam, and then there's also the lakeside. Lakeside is... Lakeside is it's infested with strippers too. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, there's a couple of good places out there that I put it this way. Every time I've been to Texoma, 
if if I don't if I'm not on a boat and I'm chasing stripers, I just go to a a point, a flat point, sandy flat point, and during the prime time hours, this is a uh, you know you gotta you gotta get up early. you gotta you gotta be fishing before the sun comes up, you'll be successful, and you won't catch a big fish, but you'll definitely catch a striper. You know a lot of that uh. A lot of that 15 to 20 inch class stripers from Texoma, really good. But uh, this time of year, I really, really uh, recommend people to go and throw a topwater. Just because, if it's, especially if it's your first time trying to catch a striper, you need to experience stripers at their best. And this is the time of year where they are at their best. They are in a panic mode, they're trying to catch everything, eat everything before the winter comes, and October, late October is where we're in right now. Early November, that that top water bite is it, starting to die down a little bit because it was hot the early part of the months. But now it feels like the big fish are you're catching more big fish now. Uh, going into November, there is going to be a top water bite, but it'll transition to nothing but uh, underwater stuff. So once they're underwater, you can still throw flukes, fluke and jig heads. You know. Uh, Depends on how deep you're fishing, but if you have a quarter ounce uh, jig head, I say jig head, but it's got to be a pretty stout jig head, okay? Because you go for stripers here. And you want to throw like a swim bait or you want to throw like a fluke on it. That's to keep things simple. That should be just fine. And like I said, once again, you're still you're still on them flats. Uh, flats nice with a little drop off near, nearby. Is That's like key key. Uh, but other than that, rocks, rocks, you know, flats. Mainly flats. Just think about it. just think flats this time of year. Flats, uh, flat areas. Okay, and then and, and also move around. Uh, stripers they travel in packs, so you catch one, you catch a bunch. So you got to move around a lot. If you say say you're on a beach, right, and there's no flat, you should be casting forty five degrees to the bank and you, and really as you're walking, you're always walking, you're always really working your bait. And that's the best advice I can give anybody. Uh, you need to be moving because once you find them, you'll find them. If you don't, they're not they're not there. Stripers are super aggressive this time of year. They'll let you know if they're there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll let you know if they're there, right? So, I uh, really hope that helps everybody. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to give out some secret, secret spots. You have to uh, probably go back into our old videos and footage and find that stuff out. But... Uh, yeah, Texoma is a great place. Texoma, Keystone, they pretty much fish the same thing. Uh, I haven't been to uh, Robert S. Kerr, but I'm pretty sure just by looking at the aerial maps, they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, lots of lots of sand, you know, so it's all reservoirs. Water fluctuates up and down, so right now they're drawing the water. I'm pretty sure every lake is being drawn down right now, so just fished main lake points you know main lake points go out there you gotta say like i said you gotta go early or you gotta go well, the sun drops down below the horizon around 6 45 6 30 right now so just be out there at 6 and fish till 7 30 that's all you really gotta do keeping it simple should be able to be uh should be able to catch something out there i mean it's some of these lakes are they just have too much too much stripers and stripers tend to favor the clear water so just keep that in mind too if you're fishing real muddy water you're not catching them try to go find some clean 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 clear water uh deep water is always good too uh, but they can be kind of iffy this time of year deeper water will harness will hold bigger fish that's what it does uh, at least my experience but i hope that works guys uh thanks to that guy that sent in that question if you guys uh have you know, questions about really anything. Uh, stripers, hybrids, tournaments, kayaks, uh, whatever you guys want to know. If you guys want our opinions on it, just uh, drop a comment in the video below. We'll pick one and uh, we'll, we'll answer it. Alright guys, Connor from Out of Work. Don't shave, skin cold, sub to the channel, and uh, we'll talk to you on the next one. Alright guys, talking out.